blood. Look at this post here my girl sent me. So the woman's from South Korea and her name is Cha Su Soon. Imagine spending 11,000 pounds. Imagine spending 11 bags and 960 attempts to pass your driving test, blood. Like, literally, that's perseverance at its finest, fam. My girl sent me this post and that. And funny enough, it was either yesterday or today, we was talking about people failing their driving test. And she told me that she knows someone that failed their, you know, like the theory test. And they're trying to blame it on the app and the mock test were crap and that. All these, all these different excuses and that. But I made a video about this before. Quay back in the, the early days of JY was in the back of 019 fam. And I was talking about driving tests, doing your theory tests, doing your practical tests and that. And I'm saying like, any of you lot watching right now that are doing their theory tests or planning to do it real soon. Like what you need to do is, you need to go on the net and do every single mock test that you can do. Keep doing the mock test back to back, back to back, back to Ross Clark back blood until you're getting a minimum of 49 out of 50. Maybe they've increased it to 60. Let's say 59 out of 60. But last thing I knew, uh, it was it was 40, it was out of 50 questions and that. The last time I done a theory test was my motorbike theory test. And the same thing, whether it's car, whether it's bike, whether it's van, lorry, whatever in it, it's all the same, blood. It's the same principle, blood. You gotta do the theory test back to back, back to back until you're getting a minimum of 49 out of 50. Yeah? Preferably 50 out of 50. So once you're in that, once you're at that stage where you're just banging out the, the, the exams and that, and you're getting a minimum of 49 out of 50, 50 out of 50, then take your, your, your test. Don't be taking your test when you're scraping by getting 42 out of 50, or I think I think the pass mark is like 42 out of 50. Don't be don't be taking the test once you're if you're scraping by and that. And same thing with the car thing. When you're doing your 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 driving lessons and that. What happens to a lot of people, and this happened to me as well. I was taking driving lessons and that, and I just stopped. What you need to do is you you start you book your first driving lesson and that, and then within three months, let's say for example it's January, you book your your first lessons in January, and then you book your exam for April in that time. Make sure you got enough money, obviously. Bang out the lessons, yeah. Make your driving uh, tutor and that like, give you mock tests whilst you're in the thing. So literally, my my driving tutor, big up my like Reza in it, yeah. From a uh, red driving school, best Ross Clark driving instructor in London. Like literally, my man has a seventy percent first time pass rate. You know, he used to give me mock tests and that, and I failed all of the driving mock tests. But he was being very very strict on me. Literally, he would put on his high vis and use the the mock. Like, like, you know, like the tick sheet thing, it's like a lottery paper thing, and, and give me the mock test and that, innit? Uh, he failed me, I think, most of the time. Yeah, I think he failed me every single time. Obviously, I still took the test then, that, but he was confident that I would pass, because he don't put no one through that they don't stand a chance to pass and that. But literally, people talking about, ah, oh, you know, the reason why I've passed, I didn't pass my test is because the app's crap or the mock test are rubbish. And that, but that's a nonsense, man. It's just another bullshit excuse, blood. It's a bullshit excuse. I remember, like, people are still running this excuse, you know, for failing their driving test. Do you know what they say? And this is the worst excuse ever. The reason why I failed my driving test is because they're only allowed to, uh, they're only allowed to let a certain amount of people pass their driving tests per week or per month. What kind of... That, that is a convenient cop-out, you know. The reason why I failed my driving test is because the DSA only allow a certain amount of people to pass their test during the month. Like, like they, they, they have control over and they know who's taking their test when... It, come on, it's bullshit, blood. It's just a stupid, lousy excuse, man. See, people who are failures and that, they will use every and any excuse to compensate for their failure, blood. Just own up to it. You failed, you made a mistake, you weren't really ready to take the test and that. I know, man, talking about, oh, yeah, man, I failed my driving test five times. And then I get in the car with them and I know why. They can't fucking drive. It's dumb, man. Man, them love, oh, this is the reason why I passed my, failed my driving test. Man, them love, oh, the reason why I ain't got no way in life is because I'm depressed and that. The reason why I ain't got no way in life is because I'm, I'm black and I'm oppressed and that. It's just nonsense, blood. It's just a cure-all excuse for failure, blood.
Men are talking about, oh, I remember one woman said to me before, yeah, um, when, when she gets her son to take the driving test, she's going to tell him to make sure he goes in a shirt. What the fuck for? She told me because obviously the driving instructors and that might be racist. And I'm thinking, what are, you what are you talking about, fam? What are you really talking about? What do you mean the driving instructors might be racist, blood? Fam, you see, you're setting yourself up to make an excuse of failure. Ah, oh, the reason why my son might have failed the driving test and that because he's a black cute and that. What were you talking about, blood? The driving instructors don't give a fuck about the colour of your skin. All they care about is whether you are fit and roadworthy, yeah, to drive, blood. And you're not going to be a part of the problem. You're going to be a part of the solution on the road, blood. Every and any excuse, blood. Oh, the reason why I didn't get this job in TGI Fridays after working there for six years is because I'm a black man. No, fam, you're not management material, blood. That's it. The reason why, oh, I can't qualify or I can't say what to buy a mortgage, to get a mortgage and that is because I ain't getting paid enough at work and that, blood. You got you got this new car that you're leasing outside. You got all these clothes and that in your wardrobe and that twenty grand worth of drip in your wardrobe and that. that's the reason why you, you can't get on a property ladder and that because your mind is not in the right place. But buying a property is a mindset thing. It's got nothing to do with the money really. It's a mindset. Me. So my this property I'm in now, yeah. I spent thirteen thousand six hundred on the deposit. My property around the corner, 20,000, uh, yeah, 26,000 was a deposit for that property. And the property around the corner from the one around the corner, that was 31 or 32 grand for the deposit. The total of about 70 grand in deposit. Imagine, at any time, fam, that's what I'm saying, it's a mindset thing. At any time I could have said to myself, Do you know what? Fam, bundled property thing, blood. This car for drive, these clothes for wear. This place for visit, Jamaica, Dubai, Bali, all these nonsense places. That, no, not Jamaica though, innit? But you get me? But all, all, all these nonsense destinations and all these destinations that I'm going to just because it's the place to be, blood. Man, they need to stop making excuses for their shortcomings and their failures and that, blood. It's down to you, fam. Sometimes, yeah, an unfortunate thing might happen in that where... You know, something, something might happen on the road, like when you're doing your driving test and you fail because you didn't act appropriately and that. But you know what? I believe, yeah, if you are that good of a driver, even if you make a mistake, as long as it ain't a bad mistake, I think that driving instructor, if he truly believes, yeah, if I give this person, if I grant this person their driving license, they're not going to be a problem on the road. They're going to be a solution on the road. They're not going to be a dumb driver. I reckon they will overlook your... um. Your, your mistake, you know, even if they could actually fail you for that, I reckon some people would overlook you, they would overlook it, if they truly believe you're a good driver, most of these people that are going for the driving test and that, they shit, I remember in Barnet, blood, and, and funny enough, I'd sat my test in Barnet, and I remember one youth that man used to chat to you before, and he said, oh, he would never sit, sit his test in Barnet, and I said, why, he said, oh, because there's lots of hills and that, what are you, what are you talking about, there's not lots of hills, what, 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 what you think, earth is flat, blood, so what if there's lots of hills in that? So what's going to happen once you pass your driving test? You're going to just drive around in Edmonton your whole life, blood. You know, you know, you, well, you're not going to leave your area, fam. So anyway, man, I remember going into Barnet Driving Test Centre and that. And I'm I'm in there now. And I'm seeing people sitting down or whatever in it. Yeah, the people them look shook. They look like they was on death row, blood. Terrified. When you jump in the car, your fucking driving instructor can feel the driving examiner can feel feel your fear, why are you so fearful, and obviously it's alright to be a little bit nervous, because at the end of the day, this is important, you're being examined and that, but if you are truly terrified and scared, it's because you ain't prepared, blood, you ain't fucking prepared, blood, anyone, any kids that go and sit an exam, who have studied for a year, you get me, they put in hard work and that sacrifice, dedication and that to exam, they're not going to be scared, blood, because they know they're prepared for the exam, blood, people there that are just, you know them idiots, I used to see these idiots all the time outside the exam hall, whether it was electrical or GCSEs and that, flicking through their, their, their textbook and that, 10 minutes before the exam. What were you revising, blood? That flicking through should have been going on for the last six months of your last part of life, blood. I remember, like, me, I've only ever failed one test in my whole life. And that was when I was doing my inspection and testing. It's two parts, the... The, the the test is two parts. So, obviously, man was studying now. I thought I studied enough. 
sat the first test and then I found out I failed. I couldn't believe it, bro. So then, anyway, I sat the next test, passed that one, and then obviously I had to go back and redo the first test. Let me tell you something, yeah? I must have found out that I failed in like July and the retake was in December and the course had finished. So therefore, I'm on my own. There's no refresher classes or nothing like that or classes in between. Nah, I was on my own. I literally had to study the guidance note free. It's like an inspection and testing book like it was the Bible. I used, I remember being on my breaks at home to Harringate, sitting in Tinsel Town in Woodgreen. RIP Tinsel Town Woodgreen. They shut it down, fucking pussy. I was in it. I remember sitting in Tinsel Town in Woodgreen for 30 minutes to 45 minutes, revising whilst I'm having my lunch, blood. I remember being in Big Up Juicy Roots on Lordship Lane, right near Lordship Lane N17, Tottenham, right near the bridge. Check it out. I remember doing uh, going there from the All You Can Eat Jerk Sunday. So it's All You Can Eat Jerk Chicken on a Sunday. I remember sitting in there revising, blood, for two hours every Sunday. I was revising every day. I said to myself, I'm not failing this exam again. So every day, I made a pact, blood. Every day, for a minimum of 30 minutes, I'm going to revise from July to December. Now, I'll say about five occasions I didn't revise for whatever reason. But every day. And I went in there, crashed out the exam. I didn't leave. You know, like, uh, you know, they say to you, the invigilator, yeah, you've got this amount of time to leave, uh, to do the exam. But when you finish, you're, you're free to leave and that, innit? You just leave quite quickly and quietly and that. I didn't leave until the end. I finished the exam, had like an hour to go, 30 minutes to go. I started again from the beginning, went through all my answers, got to the end, started again from the beginning, went through all my answers, kept on doing that until the time ran out. I, I could not leave that place without putting in my all. Every question, I put an answer. Even if I thought it weren't going to be the right answer, a answer is better than no answer. Trust me. Never my my teachers and and tutors and that in school and college and MT they told me never leave a question blank, bro. Anyway, man, people love all these excuses. The reason why I failed the driving test is because the DSA only allow a certain number of people to fail. What were you talking about, blood? What 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 kind of nonsense excuse is that, man? Anyway, man, that's it for today, man. Stay with us, done now.